and that's the Bach that gives the village its name. Every Thursday there's a very special dinner. Steve disappearing. Steve, the waiter's serving a huge family party from Ireland over there. They've been wanting snow all week and now on our last day it's come. the Longstock Village Hall, where the natives have done an incredible tapestry.
think I first came across the Stokes family uh, in about uh, 1978. Long time. Debatable Bobster. Now this was, I thought, a very moving story thing happens all too often. <laughs> <laughs> and what a dreary old fogey that toast was. <laughs> Probably all of 45. <laughs> Another thing which I was interested to see was the impending demise of the magazine, Richard Ingram's magazine, the Oldie, <laughs> and that his attempt to make it old fogies fashionable had been doomed and had come unstuck in fact. And um, well, all this stuff about 40 years on and lasting all this time and the next 40 years and things. It does actually make one think a little bit about passage of time. It sticks. It sticks. Um, but anyway, I'm enormously grateful for to Veronica for all sorts of things. Not, no, not least producing four amazing daughters, which is about in three of May that we all have in these after publications with a wide, wide berth, king size from Messrs. Heels. So, well, um, finally, I that I would once more burst and burst. So when a guard is to arrange for our view of life to change, so my explanation threatens me on the road.
Peppy's 10th birthday, and he was staying at Ash Barn. It's really difficult to believe that I was standing on this spot 10 years ago. Gaffer told me he had a little grandson. I was just getting out of the car here when he told me. Gaffer was in the garage. Something was wrong with Smarty. So he was busy checking that out. Zeppi <laughs> uh, had Michael Wainwright to stay, and they were doing something rather down by the tractor, but I don't know what it was. What are you doing, Zepp? Well, what we're doing at the moment, we're just pretending as if, as if, because Grandpa Gaffer doesn't allow us to drive it. We're Ew. sad that and he, we're gonna he doesn't. Be, and we're going to spy on Alice. So, oh. what are you doing with the tractor? <laughs> pretending we're driving it. Oh, I see. And what are and you doing, Gabriel? And I'm, and I, and, and actually, we're spying. We're huffing and puffing. Right. Like this. When we go past that, we go. <gasps> The weather was so fine that Michael and Zeppi and Gabriel actually got the railway outside, which was quite a good idea instead of playing with it indoors. And I think Alice is watching them, because Alice, you've been busy writing a story, haven't you? Yes. What's it all about, Ali? It's about Br'er Rabbit. It's all about Br'er Rabbit, because they've been watching the Br'er Rabbit on the, on the television. Boys, um, Michael, could you tell me what you're doing? I I'm playing with the cars. And um, they're, they're, they're not very nice cars. Uh, it's the new thing in the city, but no one knows that it's it's using leaded petrol, and some people are dying from it because it's going because there there there's so many cars. Oh, that's awful. What about you, Zep, darling? What are you doing over there? Um, I'm I'm I've been playing with the train, and I made a special tunnel here with the grass going over it, and then the proper wooden tunnel here. Coming up here and around here, and what they're doing is, is that like we got gods in the game, and the gods have been destroying all the cars and make, putting down railways and making trains, because trains are now in, in the city. Golly, now Gabriel Lovey, what are you up to in there? Can you tell me? I can't hear. Gabe's come out. Alice, could you read me your story in quite a loud voice what because we're in the garden? You, what story do you want? Brer Rabbit and Brer Fox. Um, Brer, okay. Brer Rabbit was thinking that he was unaware of On Tire Hill. That's where Brer Fox lives. On Tire Hill. Can Brer you talk quite loudly? Brer Fox was fixing up a miserable <laughs> death for Brer Rabbit. He had made a tar baby and put it on the road. So by and by, Br'er Rabbit, he, he spotted.
wanted that. I can't see if they work. So no. Felicity arrived with Phoebe, and they all went into the pool. Hello, Gaffa. Hello. 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 for beginning for the birthday celebrations. A nice season for wasps, so we're taking precautions. And we're glad you brought your match, uh, your candle. New homegrown marrow. It's Seppi's birthday, but nobody needs Seppi's permission to go in the pool. Uh, a lot of people sat down to lunch on Seppi's birthday. There were five we children and four grown-ups. Only a girl can come out. We had specially burning candles because of the wasps. Hopefully to keep them off. We came home for a very lavish birthday tea. Felicity had got ready. Some of them were sitting down in wet swimming pants and Zeppi was busy starting already. The candles were to keep the wasps off. What are you having Zeppi there? Yes you can start. What are you all having anyway? What are all these gorgeous looking things? What else, Ali? Two straws, mini babies, sausages on sticks, uh -huh. sandwiches, grapes, yum yum. Parents have remembered the cake. Mm. Yes. For one awful minute, we all thought that they had left it behind. I didn't have seen the cake. It's actually here, is it, Alice? Thank heaven. Gabriel? <laughs> Don't look at the horrid wasps, will you? I know what's happening behind those doors. Oh. What did, what's happening, love? I don't think I should tell you. Coming out? Don't ever... Oh, look! No! Oh. Yeah! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday to you! Happy birthday, dear Jersey! Double figures! That is reach. Are you frightened of these, Michael? Ooh. Yeah. I love them. I don't know why. Oh, do hip hip hooray. Okay, okay go, Zep. Go. Oh, okay, quick. Yeah. Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Hip hip hooray! Wow! Hey! Zep's opening his presents. What is this one? Dusty. It's a sailing oh, yacht. stand for it, Zep. Has it got a oh, name? Can you oh, can you God. sail that? Yes, yes. Wow. it's a simple sailing boat. It's to go on the round pond or on the swimming pond. pool or whatever. Thank you, whoever gave that. That was from Cookie and Gaffer. Us, from us, Cookie us. and Gaffer, is it? That was from Cookie. And, and then what? this is from Mummy and Daddy. A stereo <laughs> system. <laughs> what the creme de la resistance? Oh, I've got one of those. They're really good. After tea, they have a treasure, treasure hunt. Zeppi, quiet, but you, can, oh, you have to collect your own. Oh, hang on. Treasure wrapped um, up like that. Well, you, uh, Gabriel, Gabriel, that's yours. Oh, okay. Now, you can each have a little plastic bag to put your findings in. Yeah. There isn't a present at each place. Dagger's favourite spot. Aha! Uh -huh. And then what does it say underneath? <laughs> Behind the big, big white. Zed. Behind the big white Z. Uh -huh. What does that mean? A bit oh. cryptic. I know, I know. Oh. Oh, oh, hello. Hello, boys, I'm going to run it. Run it. Like the pink one. Your 
found a lot of treasure at the top of the tree house. Yeah. 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 Getting hotter. Getting warmer. Warmer, warmer. Hotter, hotter. Boiling. <laughs> What's in it? Yeah. <laughs> that was the end of the treasure hunt. They all collected their things and went whizzing off somewhere to open them. Thought that Roly might be finishing up tea, but luckily he didn't jump on the table, so they went back to sit and then they left to nibble. Oh God. Just what you need. What have you got, Zeps? I've got this weird balloon and I've got something else, water flowers. Oh, I think I know what those are. You put them in a glass of water and they turn into flowers. And, and I've got sparklers, a pen knife and a glow in the dark thing. Can I sit down? Mm, very quiet, Michael. The guinea pigs had a birthday treat because uh, Adrian found them a lovely lettuce. Oh, Sophie, why are she you was running away? She was holding Sophie who was jumping away. <laughs> She's determined to escape. She's trying to jump down. Out of his hands. Sophie's got the softest fur, which is definitely yes. the most skittish. Yes. Mr and Eloisha were eating so quickly. You could hardly even see their little jaws moving. I don't think any human being could eat anything as like as quickly as that. Oof, a noise Girls, why are you hiding? They're sitting behind the box, they don't want to come out. Later on they all painted their faces. <laughs> and Thea was amused. New boat. Cleopatra? Yes. <laughs> what are you laughing at? A star? No! It's the man coming! No, I said good afternoon! Yes. So the play comes yeah. for tidying up. Yeah. It's dead though, but it... Sorry, I didn't see it. Yeah. On Sunday, it was another lovely day, and Phoebe's parents, Stu and Prue Fox came to lunch and we all had a lovely lunch in the garden. There were so many of us that we had to sit at two tables. The three girls sat at their own little restaurant table under an umbrella. The boys sat at a table along with Stuart and Chris and Prue. We had fish pie, deviled mushrooms, salad. And uh, avocados, tomatoes, and water. It was very yummy. Myself and came out. I don't know what they're talking about, but everybody was having a good time. I was woken up at seven o'clock this morning by a rousing chorus of
Oh. 